It's been almost a year since England last lost here at Twickenham. Six have tried to conquer HQ, but all of them have failed. But this weekend comes the greatest challenge of them all. The number one side in the game, and a side who've lost just one of their last 33 matches. And who beat them? You know the story. So what does it take to defeat the best? Courage and heart, belief and determination, understanding and trust, accuracy and skill, power and physicality, and of course, your support. Welcome to O2 Inside Line. First up this week, player analysis. We have a quick look at the set piece from the weekend, uh, starting with the lineup. Overall, our success was pretty good during the game, but a lot of people probably on the TV probably saw that as an overthrow um, from Tom, Tom Young. But in fact, you could just see a small, small push just on Jeff there. But that small push there makes all the difference, and, and that obviously costs us the line out there. What we can do there is we can actually make the gap wider. So the wider we keep the gap, the more we're going to avoid things like that. And obviously, with that wider gap, the ref's got a much better chance of seeing any stray arms like that. For us this weekend, the big focus will be on sort of executing well. So obviously lifts are going to have to be good, um, throws are going to have to be good, and obviously the cool, cool into the right area. They've got lots of big men who like to get up in the air and, and contest. So it's about throwing sort of around them, trying to move them around and, and win good ball for the team. This is New Zealand scrum. They've got quite a solid scrum. Uh, this is a clip from last year. Uh, the rules are slightly different then. You could obviously hit and then keep going. That's exactly what we do there. Yeah, I think you saw last weekend against Argentina. They wanted to scrum long, and uh, it could be the same this weekend against New Zealand. So. It's all about sort of getting yourself in, in the correct body shape and, and being able to sort of hold that, hold that for, for, for a longer length of time. This weekend, obviously, New Zealand have lots of threats all over the pitch. Here's a good example of obviously Courtney getting out the line and putting pressure on the, on the 10. Key last year was um, we, uh, we got off the line, we won the space, um, and we hit them behind the gain line in defence. And that's what we're going to have to do again this, this year. Now it's time for this week's player camp. We spend a fair bit of time on, on the scrum machine, sort of working through different sequences and, um, and making sure we, we get all our sort of our areas right for the weekend so, so here we're working on the hit and then the hold obviously na now the new engagement it's a, it's a hit and then, and then you wait for the ball to come in so there's a hit it's a slight sink of the legs the ball's come in and we've gone again it's obviously a, a key part of the game Mike Katz coming in here and he does, a, he does a lot of skill work with us sort of working on our hand-eye coordination so here you've got Floody and Goody not quite sure what Goody's doing in the background big part of the game this sort of skills whilst looking up and obviously again here, another skill thing, it's just uh, actually doing some passing. So it's, it's not under pressure passing, but it's just working on, on your accuracy and, and at the same time making sure that your, your, sort of, your skill's there as well. Now it's time for Karen Marler in this week's teammates. Do you, help me. Do you want me to leave? Got dropped. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it was Adele, someone like you. How does, give us one line then. I heard that you settled down, mm -hmm. that you found a girl and you're what next? married now. I'd like to meet David Beckham. I'd like to pick his brains. I think we could be mates. I'd meet him. I'd love to meet him, yeah. Can we use this to say, David, give us a call? Please do, Dave. I think prefers David, but... I think him and you would... would, would have a good conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Can't show that, because he'll never meet me. Time for this week's Team Behind the Team. My name's Tweety because my full name is David Sylvester and so you can work it out from there. I was in the Royal Marines for 23 and a half years. I've been in with England since 2007. What kind of weight sessions do you do with the guys? One on Monday, one on Tuesday, where we'll do a lower limb work one of the days and uh, upper limb the second day. And on the Thursday, we'll do a power session day, which is very much geared towards that. And then uh, uh, transitioning towards rugby training as well. So they'll do some power work some rugby skill, some rugby drills. So it's very much a case of blending it from strength, working early on in the week. And as we lead our way forward, we go into power and then towards the rugby. What are the forwards bench pressing these days? <laughs> 
There'll be some really good numbers coming out there. They're up there, the high 150s, 160s uh, as they go. Yeah, they're really strong. Some good guys. And the backs? Not quite as much. Not quite as Man, much. But Man a couple of them, he's the one, he'll hold his own there. But there's a few of the backs, yep, they can definitely hold their own. Uh, bench pressing, they'll give some of the forwards a good run for the money. Do you have any spies in camp that tell you if players are perhaps stepping outside the, the we'll, boundaries? Uh, we're good friends with a lot of the hotel staff, so we know what's going where and when and what orders have been placed in, and we can cut it off quite quickly at source if required. Do they get a treat day at all? Yes, yeah, we, we'll throw one in occasionally if they've been very good. And what is a treat? Uh, in, in this day uh, uh, Friday night, dog, before game night, we'll have apple crumble for tea. Well, at 2.25 on Saturday afternoon, England will emerge from this tunnel, backed by your support, for the final test of 2013. It is the big one. It's all black against all white. It's the red rose against the silver fern. It is game on.